How is it out there tonight, everybody? I am back. I hope you all are doing wonderful tonight and had a fantastic Memorial Day. As you can see, we're a little bit behind, but you know what? That's okay. Because we are getting ready to work our... Well, to work on. We're going to get ready to play a fantastic modern deck. All right, and we're just written for mana traders. We'll let that happen. We're going to hop into a league in this and hope that we do our absolute best. There's a few things we have, a few things we don't. We're going to get that from mana traders, and then we're going to go for it. I am uh, very, very excited about that. And... With my next, uh, in here in a couple days, when a new set drops, I'll actually be able to get that a couple days after release, which I am very, very excited about. Oh, here comes that Mad Traders bot for. All of our needs. This is a deck that I had wanted to try. Uh, I don't know how it is, really. It is interesting, you know? A very interesting Magic the Gathering deck. Also, we're going for a little bit of a more chill uh, sound here tonight. We're listening to some of the of Walking Dog Radio. Their lo-fi and chill hop beats over there on YouTube. I highly suggest you help you head on over there and give them a big follow if this is the kind of music that you are into. They are. From everything I've seen, a absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal artist. And here we are with the deck. Soul Tide Death Shadow. A deck I have, uh, not gonna like, kind of wanted to be good for a very long time in Magic. And, uh... It's had a troubled history, to say the absolute least. But, but, we're here with it now. And this is the very same list that took down a challenge a few weeks ago in the hands of X-File. Very talented player there. So, no wonder that this list did well with them. We're gonna hope that uh, Lightning could strike twice for us. As... I do really quite enjoy this sort of deck. And we're just hoping we can get there with it. But why are we eschewing Ragavan? Is a great question. Why are we eschewing Unholy Heat? And all of the other great things that Red brings us, like DRC, its interaction with Bobble, etc., etc. Well, the big reason is we're on all in on Fatal Push as our removal to unquestionably kill things. We are a little weak to Merc Tide. We do have Abrupt Decay to make sure those pesky monkeys do not get in. Not going to be able to counter that one at a Merc Tide. But the, and of course, Streetway for that turboing out of Shadow and just that card advantage. Or really just card velocity, I guess is a better term for it. Since we're just seeing more of our deck this way. We're effectively a... Out the gate, we have Bobble and Street Wraith, which are effective redraw, so that's eight. We're a 52 card deck already. We have Dryad Arbor, so we're effectively 18 lands, with one of them actually being a creature. 
And to deal with big things, we have Grist. You probably know seen a two drop there above Tarmogoyf. You might be a little curious about. We'll get on to that. And of course, the good stuff of Thoughtseize Inquisition. Shadow itself, and just something we haven't seen in modern quite a while. Stubborn Denial, a card I am, again, very fond of. A lot of fond memories of four color shadow from back in the day. We're really happy to see represented here. And of course, Traverse the Ubenwald. We have so many card types going in the yard. One man and tutor will definitely do us right. But the real question is why? And this is why. Invasion of Ikoria. X, green, green. When Invasion of Ikoria enters the battlefield, search your library and or graveyard for a non-human creature with mana value X or less. Put it onto the battlefield. If you search your library this way, shuffle. So, worse green sun zenith, uh, but it's a battle, so it flips. So you you can be a worse version of a banned card if you have something else you do, and that's utterly fine. But what does it flip into? You might wonder. Well, Zelthortha, Zelthora, apex of Ikoria, legendary creature dinosaur with reach. But that's not what matters. And it's an 8-8 for the record. Again, nice, you know, 8-8s for two are nice. But what does it matter? For each non-creature you control, you may have that creature assign its combat, combat damage as though it weren't blocked. So everything's a thorn elemental, which is good, you know, that that's, that's good if you can attack it down. It has six loyalty? I don't know what it is with battles. Whatever they are. Six of that. But we don't have bolts. What are we going to do with that? Well, that's what Vampire Hex Mage. You know, a first striking 2-1 for double black. That's not great. But here's what matters. Sacrifice Vampire Hex Mage. Remove all counters from target permanent. It's a vampire. Shaman. Neither of those are human. We fetch it up for four. We swing in with a couple of Tarmogoyce a Big Death Shadow. Suddenly they can't be blocked. We're hitting for... 15, 18 damage? While we close in the game right there and then. And it is a combo our opponents must respect. So, that's why we're here. And of course we have Dress Down shrink their things. A bit of a nombo with Goyf. You just have to remember it. And realistically, before the end step, you can just cast it to cycle. I mean, that's the thing you can do. Again, doesn't matter. What does matter is... Oh, and also for 5 man, Tutor Up Grist is a very nice thing. So we only need the one. Got all things in this. Uh, not sure how this is going to perform. Fortunately, I had some cards I was kicking around the idea of selling anyway here on Moto. So, not the end of the world if uh, this doesn't see us through. In the side, Fluster Storm, another dress down. Double spreading seas for big mana matchups. If, if we somehow run into Tron, if we run into a Amulet Titan, Cobru, Burn, just anything combo we, we want to take a there relies on a named instant or sorcery. Just get it. Veil of Summer. Just protect our stuff from black base removal. Make sure we force our stuff through counters. Force of Vigor. Again, just to deal with pesky artifacts or enchantment. Spell bombs for living end. Any graveyard strategy and EEs. So. Yeah, pretty standard. Pretty standard stuff. So, let us hop on over to Constructed. Let us... Where is it? There we go. There is our Modern League. We got our Salt High Death Shadow. Let's burn these play points, shall we? Alright, let's play our League match and see where we end up. Hopefully we do well to...
Okay, they now start up on pairing since the new update. Oh, that's cool. Save a little bit of time there. But I certainly hope everyone out there is doing well. Like I said, I kind of wanted a more chill sound. Walking Dog is definitely providing us with their music. And yeah, I hope everyone's fantastic out there. We had a big day. We went down to some relatives for a barbecue, took my daughter. They've got a farm out there, so she was uh, very happy. Oh, and it looks like we are on the play. We'll definitely take advantage of that. Gris, Death Shadow, um, hmm. I think we can keep this. We get to pseudo scry with Bobble. Opponent is mulliganing low. Uh, we're gonna get to draw effective two cards here and lower our life by five. So hopefully we can find a thought seize, get that shadow down quickly. Another land for Grist wouldn't be horrible. Opponent's down to, has mold to six. So, not bad, not bad at all. I do think though, we're gonna take the bobble pseudo scry effect. And we'll go land, we'll cast a bobble. We'll bobble target us. Vampire Hex Mage. Hmm. Yeah, we don't want to draw that and say go. All right. Be good to us here, Bobble. Okay, land is kind of not what we wanted, but we don't really want the Hex Mage either, so that's probably fine. Uh, That would not be fine if it resolved. All right, let's cycle that. Let's, ooh, fourth land, not where we want to be. Um, let's go Verdant and pass. If they play something we care about, we can always dress down with it on the stack. Hardened scales can be a little tricky for us, but we're going to bring in E after this. Yep, unfortunately not a whole lot we can do about that. Let's go ahead, let's fetch. Overgrown Tomb. Yep. Invasion of Ikoria, huh? Let's get the breeding pool. All right. Black, play up the Death Shadow. There you go. We're going to be crashed in for seven next turn. And that is the thing, like, uh... Stirring's out of opponent. You're good there. Grove of the Burn Willows. Ooh, interesting. Spicy, spicy there, opponent. Yep. Um... Black, blue... Dress down it? Let's hope this works the way it, it, I think it does in my head. Okay, Thought Seize. Yep. Perfect. Time walked them. Got a card. Uh, yeah, I think we want to go low here. So let's get out this overgrown tomb, shock it in. Thought sees our opponent. Yeah, let's take the ballista. Since I feel like that's just the one we like out and out lose to. Let's make a dork and swing in. All right, opponents at 12, so looking not bad for us. 
fetch off the top and do it. Opponent sagas, and they probably go ahead here. Hang your back, Walker. All right, so. Tarmogoyf, huh? All right, let's get another bug. Let's get Lethal on board. And say go. These going into Thorn Elementals is going to be pretty good. All right, but we are vulnerable. Uh, okay, Stirrings, they're looking for that Walking Ballista to finish us off. This is where it's clutch. If we dodge the walking ballista here, uh, and... All right. If they can only pump it twice more, we win. This will be interesting. We might have him dead to rights. I'm hoping we do. Because we have it on board now. Like, they block the shadow. All damage goes face because of the Ikoria we've got in hand. Okay. Okay, it's a 4-4. Four, four. We're still not dead. We're going to search for a two-mana creature. I wonder what we're getting. All right, this is where we have to be careful. I haven't done this actually on Moto, so we have to make sure we don't screw this up on the stack. So we've got, yeah, we've got, there we go. Okay, good. Opponent saw the win. I was going to kill that. Alrighty then. That was good, wasn't it? Dress down seemed a very clutch there. Abrupt Decay feels good. Uh, I think we can cut a little bit of air in these two. Uh, I think our opponent's going to help us lower our life total. What do we want? What do we want indeed? Push seems good. Uh, Traverse might be a hair slow, so I think we can cut one of them. Do we just trim for interaction? Maybe. We'll try it like that. Uh, just hope our opponent's on a slower hand. Uh, 
EE on zero seems very strong in this matchup. Like, just to fade and, uh... Then we crash in ourselves, you know? Like, that just seems very, very good. <gasps> so far, pleased. Pleased so far. We just have to win two, and, like, we get our entry back effectively. So, you know? And if we go all the way, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? But we'll see. Uh... There, uh, spreading seas. I feel like there's zero argument for. Oh, excuse me. Had a big barbecue today. Uh, I feel like there's no argument for that. They don't care about their mana base. Like we kill an Urza Saga, you know, whoop, cool and all, but yeah. Uh, we have enough green cards to pitch. I think Force of Vigor is just kind of worth it. Maybe we are supposed to bring in the spreading seas for sagas, but we brought in the EEs. And our combo, by design, wins through a board stall. Like, it, a board stall favors us very heavily. Okay, we've got Dress Down. We're on the draw. We've got Street Wraith. I'm going to keep. Again, this could be a bad idea, but we're going to find out. The Seiju, Hardened Scales. Start off with a cycle. Oh, that's not what we want to see at all. E on zero. And let's go Verdant Pass. I mean, unfortunately, they're going to get like one creature off of this, but Welding Jar, again, doesn't help you against state-based effects, opponent. I figure that was coming. Hang her back. Uh, that's fine. Overgrown. Yeah. Hang her back is good. Hmm. Our Goyf is only a 2-2. Two -two. That would... Yeah, let's go ahead. Crack it. Get the pull. Get to the board with Tarma Goyf and say go. This one's not looking great for us, but... If we can just stall until uh, we get a Death Shadow or something, this could be amazing. They get a couple Thopters, uh, unless they pump again. And this will grow the Tarmogoyf by two, if this goes to the yard. Honestly, Fatal Push will be the best, like we just uh, play the Breeding Pool, or the... Or not the Breeding Pool. The Overgrown Tomb, or the Watery Grave. Push it. And, like, with all these lands, that does put us... Okay, Sorcery, Grow and Goyf. And also, I'm not opposed to holding up this address down for that Walking Ballista. Like, it comes in, it doesn't do anything but hit the yard. Arcbound Ravenger. A little annoying that that one is... Getting through, but it is what it is. Ooh, interesting. That means we get a hold up for that. Okay, opponent, hold him back. All right, well. I'll bobble myself. Uh, yeah, I think I will. Traverse the Uven Wall. Let's see... Three card types in our yard. Hmm. 
Hmm. Because we do that, we can get Grist next turn, play Grist, kill, what have you, if we sequence right. Or actually, we can't kill anything. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. We do that. Yeah, um... Uh, I think I'm okay just holding back. We time walk them and, uh, yeah, that's annoying that it gets even more counters, but hey, what can you do? Traverse coming through. And we're hoping they kind of tap out here. Come on, drop the arc bound. You know you want to, opponent. Though we are in a rough spot. They could do that to grow it even more and hit us for eight. Would be lame, but ooh, patchwork it. I'm gonna, uh, I think they just have it here. But this is where playing cautious pays off. Overgrown 2. Tapped. Okay, control Z. Green. Oh. <laughs> oh, silly me. Ah, uh, that was a fumble and a half, but you know what? We're going to get through this. Hmm. Let's get Grist here and say go. Yeah. Uh, let's just go ahead and concede it. I'm just not feeling this one. Like, we screwed up too much, I feel like. I screwed up too much, I should say. Oh, dang. I submitted wrong. Oh, well. You know what? This was all my fumble. That does happen. You get a little flustered sometimes, but it's okay. And Hardened Scales is a little bit of a difficult deck to play against, I will fully admit. All right, we'll take the play. And also, I feel like being on the play is very advantageous to us. Okay, yeah, this is a perfect hand. Uh, yeah, keep. Snap, keep. All right, so we're going to play this out. And get, uh, yeah, Overgrown Team feels like a good start. The Inquisition. The Ozolith, Hardened Scales, Arcbound Ravager. Arcbound Ravager it is. Liking this so far. Opponent has no threat. Hardened Scales is down. Uh, hmm. Only because we have option of double green, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So there we go. Grove of the Burn Willows for opponent.
boating jar they're playing it out right I oh well, dang it I should have quit okay hanger back walker so they do this they save it we kill it in our turn play out a uh, I mean that is hard because that's a two for one but in their favor I would like to add but we're oh my oh they choose not to interesting um hmm how do we want to handle this You know what? I'm gonna just do this. Like, get to the board. Like, we're going shields down here, unfortunately, but, uh, they've got land, artifact, and hand. Like, the double welding jar will be rough, but, yep. Welding jar. Land. Two. Okay, that's fine. Uh, honestly, I think here, just to pump up the goif okay all right let's see what they're drawing and decide from there because we're going to more than likely a walking ballista that is very very anemic if they don't have this All right, let's hit him for seven. I mean, that walking ballista is never going away. All right, I, uh, I guess one could argue I should have fetched, but hey. All right. Okay, they shoot it down. Um, yeah, we'll shock it in. All right, and I mean, we have to get through it. We have to get through their double welding jar somehow. They give it regenerate because of course they do. They're going to grow this thing. They're going to try to police our board with it. That's fine. The, that uh, Ozolith is very annoying, but we're going to hope we draw the second thing. They can only pump it once, though, so they can only give it, make it a 3-3, three, three, and that still doesn't trade yet. We have five card types in our yard right now, so we have a lot of things that are alive. They put the counters on. I mean, they could get in. Uh, I don't know if they win that race, though. We're hoping we find a... As we got the breeding pool, I think we get another land of any sort. We're just looking for creatures. Overground tomb, no. No. All right, and... Yeah, I think we're at a high enough life total. Opponent's thinking here.
So they can deal a maximum of eight. If they try to do some shenanigans with the spell, we do have a way to stop it. Okay. Welding jar to the eighth. I'm not going to let that bait it out. Okay, can't stop that. All right, so... Um... Yeah, I think I just go combo here. Green... Green. All of it. Make them kill us in one turn without combat. Search library. Vampire hex mage. Okay, and... There we go! All right, they, um... I don't know what they have in hand, but uh, they seem very dead here. They don't know about our stubborn denial backup. I mean, they can shoot down our... Uh, Apex of Ikoria here. But if we're only taking eight, they can only do that once. If they try to play out another thing that would pump it again, I'm just going to counter it. I think I just snap, throw that stubborn denial up at their face. Two cards in hand, a uh, veil plus that. But then even then, they can't pump it. So... Okay, it grows. Okay, it's a 5-5. Five, five. That's lethal, but... I mean, block. Shoot it down if you must, opponent. They have to blow their, one of the regenerates here. Interesting. Interest. Okay. Well, that was a good one. Off to a fantastic start. We're going to go ahead and throw up the BRB here. And we're just going to restart Moto. That was kind of a uh, little bit more of an intense one. Moto's been doing real well. A uh, very good friend of mine, Resto Kiki, and I played some test matches earlier this evening brand fine there. I'd love to say I trust it now. This new install has completely fixed all of my moto issues. Everything is fantastic. That would be a lie. I still do not trust this program. So, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh... <laughs> so we're probably gonna restart every couple matches. You know, I just, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. And I mean, like, I do like that. Like, if you want to get up and take a little bit of a break, it takes Moto a sec to come back. Anyway, that's after the restart. So, like... You know... And we're a little bit between matches, so it just gives people a chance to take a break, if that's what they so desire to do. And I know this is going to be an especially calming uh, stream tonight, but that's what I wanted. It's been a, not rough, but a hectic day today. And something a little bit more relaxed is what I was going for, because personally, I could use that. And, you know, I like to offer that to everyone here. You know what I mean? I figure that'll be nice for everybody. And we're going to go a hair longer tonight anyway, because I don't have to get up super early because I work from home tomorrow.
But yeah. A great, a great, f we're off to the right foot with this deck. You know what I mean? Like, I remember back in the day, just the ability of hardened scales to gum up the board is really what broke Death Shadow against it. And the fact that they weren't able to do that games one and three was pretty key. Opponents on the play, so we want a more reactive hand. I'd like to see a fatal push in case of monkey. Asking you shall receive. Um. Yeah, I think we can keep. What have you got for us, opponent? You have Tron. Uh. Uh, yeah, well, this is about the <laughs> worst thing that could have happened. We do have hate for this, uh, Tron. Rough matchup. Okay, they're not just gonna Tron us out of the game. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we can use this. Grab this. I mean, whatever. Tarmogoyf, and, uh, what we need here in a big way is Thoughtseize. Like, Thoughtseize are like the relevant play. Add two cart types to the yard. Grow the Goyf any way we can, and just hope that's enough. All right, because going up to four will be pretty huge. Or they could just stumble a bunch. I'm fine with that, too. Street Wraith. Okay. Relic. The ability of Tron to just have it is honest to God amazing at times. Yeah. Yeah, their ability to play keep away from us is going to be pretty huge for them. Uh, Abrupt Decay. Um... Make them scared of a counter. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make them pop this. Because we're down to one card type in yard no matter what. Yep, and we're just going to hope they don't have it in hand. Put them to 19. And uh, I'm honestly thinking about land. If we get one, just to uh, have another one. And hmm. Hmm. Because if we go out, like, if we get... If they Ugin, we just auto-lose. You know, Tron doing... Tron gonna Tron. Tron gonna Tron. That's unbeatable. Oh, just Tron things, just Tron things. But that's why we have these. Uh, I like them. Uh, uh, Grist. I think Grist is too fair against Tron. I think Force of Vigor is fine. Uh, Tron is just really something we don't have a lot of tech against. I think Dress Down can be good. This gives us more kill potential. Uh, not really feeling traverse. Our yard's going to be under heavy, heavy pressure. So. Okay. We want fetch land, thoughtsies, thoughtsies, spreading seas. I'm f real greedy, you all, but, uh, no. Okay, okay, okay. This was this Turbo out of Shadow. We put back what, uh, a Misty? All right, opponent. Turn zero. Okay, Fatal Push. Oh, God, I did not take those out. That's going to be hard. But you know what? Watery Grave. Make them scared.
Uh, okay. We take the map. Okay. Uh, now they could destroy and we're screwed. You know, it sucks to suck. But we're just gonna hope that does not happen, because <laughs> that's our out! Our out to this is hope they don't get it and ruin our lives. With, uh, you know, their million draw card effects here. Okay, and tower was the play. Okay, dress down. All right, um, the tomb that is overgrown. The thought that is seized, dismiss that. Oh, thank you, Lord. All right, and we might just have the win in hand. Uh, obviously, stubborn denial would be amazing. We hit them a couple times, we counter, big thing. All right, so they get... Okay, another spear means they didn't draw a land. All right. Okay, Relic, uh, that, I don't care. Okay. Hmm. Now, Control-Z that one. I'm just going to play out the Goyf. We don't really have anything else, and there's not much sense in holding up the Shadow right now. If that had been a Death Shadow, I would have played it. We would have uh, probably won next turn. But now they have to hold a mana up to deal with this Goyf, because this Goyf is going to come in. I'm going to give it a land, because why wouldn't I? Uh... And if they don't find it next turn, if we hit with just the shadow, they're dead. Okay, map. It means they're going to find it. Uh, and they get a hold up mana. Not good, not good. Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they get a drop. Karn. Yuck. Well, that came way too late. Alright, opponent goes to two, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, they do that. Then they get a hold up for the Tarmogoyf. How's it going, Corbin? <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I just wanted something a little bit goofier, you know? And, uh, yeah, we're just dead. We're just dead. Because we didn't draw a land. Because yeah, if we had done that gone land, they carn us. They get a weave up relic. I mean, I do have a couple outs here. Okay, yeah, carn, whatever. Okay. All right, so we do that, they pop it. Okay. So, bobble. Okay, and then... Okay, good, we win, we win here, somehow. So we do that, uh... I mean, unless they have endurance. Endurance screws us, but... All right, opponent. This is where you see our galaxy brain plays. Okay. Bob. Okay. Fatal push. 
Okay, that was great. Uh, thanks, game. I'm glad that you did that uh, without our consent there. I don't know why it just pushed on through, but hey. If that had worked, I would have pushed. Uh, it didn't yield to... It didn't let me respond to my own fatal push and let me float the blue to counter it. But that does happen, unfortunately. So we're on the draw. I'm going to keep this on the draw because we get so many redraws. Okay, Odawara. Okay, this is a living end. It's like... Oh, yuck. Alright. Cast. Cast. All right, so. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. <sighs> They're going to get to living in no matter what here. So I think we're just trying to look for a way to stop that. That's going to be rough because we really need to draw lands. Uh, I think the take is force of negation. Let's see what they're drawing. Okay, Beseju is fine. All right, we draw off Bobble. Okay, Stubborn Denial is good. We just need a land. All right. All right, we know that Beseju is gone. Uh, Eh, let's just shortcut here, because I want to make sure we have this all accessible. Okay, Stripe River Winder. So they're going to cycle into a cycler. All right. That's fine. All right, Bobble. Okay, that's good. Okay, um... This is going to seem silly because we're essentially just cycling this for no value, but it's going to give us another car type in Yard. Okay. And we're just going to have to hope that they don't draw a land. If they draw a land, we lose. But we do get back a Street Wraith. The Waker of Waves is a little bit annoying, but, uh, you know, we're going to have to deal. Okay, they cycle. Do they find a land? They do. They cycle. All right. Uh, are the, oh, well, that's just a game. Cool. Didn't find, uh, I could have sworn we had another card type, but that was my mistake. So we're gonna bring in Nihil Spell Bombs. They're going to bring in... Hmm, is the combo too fair here? It might be. I think Grist isn't worth it. I think Flusterstorm is worth it. I think... Though there is an argument for Spreading Seas, because if you can cut them off red and green mana, they don't do a whole lot. Their mana base is very vulnerable, but I don't think it's good enough. I think we can cut that. Uh, actually, I think... No, I've got a better idea. Because those are all useful in their own way. Uh, that's not very good. Fatal push, fatal push, fatal push. Uh... Actually, I'm not going to bring in the Force of Vigor. I'm going to bring in the Spreading Seas. Uh, this could be just a rocky start, but like I said, we only need to win one of these next three to get our money back. Okay. Uh, yuck. Okay. We're on the play, though. We have Thought Seas. I'm going to keep as ill-advised that may be. We're going to get to... I mean, if they have a turn zero, you know, it is what it is. Opponent is mulganing, so that's good. If they don't find their ley lines, 
Okay, and they begin without a turn zero. Again, it really hurts us to have this swamp, but it's just, in this matchup, there's... Okay. Shardless, Shardless, uh, Grief. Cast. Cast. They have just so many hits, potentially, for... Okay, that's fine. So, they don't have any green mana yet. And they don't have a good side. Oh, they do have a breeding pool. Uh, that's absolutely the worst thing we could see. They cycle the Street Wraith, meaning they can't grief us now. Breeding pool. Okay, Violent Outburst, the second. Okay, good. Don't mean to cast it, we mean to do this. Hmm. So what is the worst? So they cycle that Street Wraith. They could... So they have one unknown. Um... All right, so we do this, uh, we get a hold up Stubborn Denial, and if we draw another Thought Seize effect or a Street Wraith, then that gets to become an unconditional counter spell. Okay, traverse the Uven wall, we have, okay. One, two. We have three car types in yard. Let's shock it in. Let's play out the Death Shadow as a lowly 2 2. But then. Hopefully, we just draw another land so we can actually get something a little bit better. Grief. Alright, so we're going to Veil. And look, we drew the land. See, it's starting to turn around, everyone. All right, fetch. Play a... Hmm. I'm gonna get a breeding pool. Tarmogoyf. And then, uh, all right, so we just need to grow the shadow. We've got them at, we just need a, another fetch land, which we can get. All right, we might win uh, if I've counted everything right, because we're about to put instant in the yard. Shardless Cascades. Okay, so I think we have them. Uh, Misty is fine. Oh, uh, yes, please. All right, that's what I'm talking about. And let us just crash in for lethal. All right. Whew. Watch as always again, swimming in. I'm going to cut out more of the combo. I'm going to bring in another spraying seas because if we could have disrupted them off green mana and like that just hurts them so bad. So I think I do that. Uh, they can't have Veil of Summer. They're 
unlikely to bring in Force of Vigor in this matchup. I never say never. Never say never. I mean, yeah, this is what we signed up for. That's a big keeper. Uh, come on, Stubborn Denial into Thoughtsies, Thoughtsies. All right. Opponent is cycling a street race, which they could grief us. That would suck. Okay, that's not a grief. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is clutch. This is all. This, I mean, that's just playing against living in. You know what I mean? Like, it just always feels like it comes down to these little micro decisions and, like, them just not having it, really. Okay. This is good. This is very good. Hmm. As soon as it is, I'm going to Watery Grave here. Like, we're not really in on our combo. I think our our quote-unquote combo is a little bit more fair than what the, our opponent's doing over there. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I think we got to take their way of winning the game and just hope they don't draw a black spell. They're not really... They do have four with Street Wraith, 8 with Architects of Will, 12, so they could. I mean, that would suck. Again, you know, sometimes it sucks to suck. Uh. Okay. Four knowns, so force. So if we do that, they've got subtlety as well. How's it going, Resto? I hope that you had a great time. I am just trying to decide what I'm going to do here. I think I want this because we want to lower our life total. I think I'm going to go black, thought sees, and. Uh, Yeah. Oh, I would recommend it. I've been enjoying this. Um, I mean, I guess I take the grief because I don't really want them to disrupt my hand here because I really want to just drop Shadow Shadow, Stone Denial. And if they don't show me double green here, I think I'm just going to try and screw them off of it. You know what I mean? Okay, getting clutch, getting clutch here, everybody. All right, well, <laughs> you know what they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. So, I mean, this has to be the call, right? Shadow. Shadow and uh... okay. Yeah, I think we can put that one on top. Uh, and we're just gonna hope that they like fumble royally. We don't have force of negation to worry about anymore. Opponent's gonna be pretty reticent to. We got there. Uh, I mean, I guess that's the thing about living in. Like, sometimes it feels like the world is your oyster. You can do no wrong, and you just steamroll everybody. Everybody in your path. Maybe. Uh, uh, no, that was, uh, that was the second. Like, we lost, you know, it's living in, so we lost game one because we're a relatively fair deck. Game two, we clutched it out. 
and uh uh, I guess they didn't want to take 10 with a shadow and stubborn denial, a second shadow coming down, stubborn denial back up. They had to pitch their force of negation to a subtlety to not just instantly die. I put it on top because, like, I had it in hand, you know? Like, why not? And I guess they couldn't beat that, you know? Like, I guess that's just what it is, so. We're going to, uh... If you all don't care, I will leave you with the music. Because I am going to take a quick break here. I'm going to restart Moto and run to the bathroom. And we'll be right back. So, going to go ahead, throw up my BRB. We're going to restart the quiet. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to mute my mic for a second. Leave you with the lovely sounds from Walking Dog Radio over on YouTube. A great, great channel. That... Yeah, it's a YouTube channel. Why, why is my brain not working? Anywho, it is a great YouTube channel that I highly recommend. If you're into the lo-fi hip-hop genre of music, I highly recommend that you go and give them a nice subscribe over there on the YouTube. So I shall be back in one moment. Alrighty, I am back. Before I bring everything up, I'm going to make sure Noble hasn't done anything too, too wonky with his positioning. He is good. Uh, and I guess I might as well, while I'm getting everything pulled up, now is as good a time to announce it. I'm probably not going to be streaming on Saturday just because of ferality. I'm going to that with some friends. 
so I'm going to have to take a little bit of time away from the family during the day that I normally wouldn't. So I'm just going to kind of cut stream for that. Just take a little bit of a vacation. But if... You know, it will be nice. And Ferality is only like once, realistically once a year. I don't know. I think I've heard like some talk of another one, but yeah. Don't know. And uh, I don't know. I, I'm probably going to be streaming Wednesday because my daughter and my stepson have swim lessons on Thursdays for a little bit. So I'm going to be taking them to that. Uh, you know, what? that'll be good for them. Like, uh, like Horace and I are both glad that we got the kids into that. Uh, we're both, let me just adjust Noble. Well, you got to make these little reconfigurations some days. But we're really glad we got them both in there. I think it's going to be fantastic for them. Um, the only thing is, I don't know if I'm going to physically be able to stream after watching them. I'm hoping, hoping since it's the gym that has the nice indoor pool that they will be people to watch them. So someone, namely me, can go and work out at a nice gym as opposed to my home. You know, that would be cool. That would be cool. I mean, I don't know if, like, I don't know legally if the instructors can do that. Uh, swim lessons are a dodgy proposition legally. You know, like, there's just so much with the insurance, and I do get it. Like, it isn't, like, you're you're taking people who have zero idea to swim, you know, actual children who don't know, and teaching them. So I get, uh, I get where the liability comes from, you know what I'm saying? But... I would like it if I could work out. It would be cool, like, to not have to try and find more time to get to the gym. But, uh, we're gonna be on the play, um... This hand is bad, like... Uh... This hand isn't great, but we get two cracks at a redraw. We're on the play, which sucks that we're not doing anything. We're not putting our foot forward, so to speak. But we're gonna keep... The put back. I'm going to say grist. This could be the dumbest idea I've ever had ever. But we're going to try it. We're going to go cast, cast. So target us. Watery Grave um, isn't optimal, but on a one lander, I think it's fine. Okay, and it's Murktide. So that Gris would have been clutch, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so we do get another draw here. But I, I will say, Resto, like, I have been uh, loving the shadow so far. Monkey is good. Weirdly, I think I get the breeding pool here. My reasoning is like we don't we can't push this thing right now, you know what I mean? Okay, so we get another Overgrown Tomb. We drop Tarmogoyf. We Shock play Shadow. We have two giant beaters. Like, ideally we quit drawing lands, you know, that might be cool. We get to stick this under a counter spell. Uh, they might have a bolt for us, you know. If they do, they do. Uh, not a whole lot we can do about it. I've played against this with Murktide. I haven't played this side of the matchup. Mainboard EE, -E, everybody. Main board EE, -E, everybody. 
Oh, monkey's not coming in? Monkey's not coming out to play? Okay, that's fine. Opponent draws. We draw. An Inquisition of Causaleg. Aw. So we go to within bolt range. Well, you know what? Let's Inquisition them now. See what they got going on over there. Uh, Aether Spellbomb. No, thank you. Uh, and then... Yes. Uh, let's see what their hand was. They did not have a land, so they can't both bolt the shadow and crack the EE. -E. So I think we just... Because they're going to they're take the damage here, surely. Like... And then we drop the Death Shadow and say go. They do that. They can't really attack in. I think I throw... Okay, so... They don't have Murktide mana. We're really just looking... Wanting a way to kill this Shadow or this uh, Ragavan. DRC comes out to play. We get Thoughtseize. Murktide, Murktide, they have... So we do this, Shadow grows again. And then we get to drop another Shadow to protect us from Monkey. Like... Okay, so they Spell Pierce. Murktide is still looking a little bit an... What? Uh... No. Well... Let's think about this. If we hit him for 10... Uh... Yeah, let's do this now. And maybe they trade here. Like, we get... Okay, uh, well, I hope you drew Force of Negation, OP. Uh, we will search that library. We will find us that Death Shadow. And we will play out that big 5-5. Five five. So they crack this. They do get Delirium, but I don't know that they want Delirium. Okay, they EE. -E. They Murktide? Okay. Uh, 4-4 four, four Murktide, not looking super duper impressive. And if we draw another one, we just win. Uh, I think I swing in here. They have to. They have to block. They have to double block to kill one. I just push the monkey. They. Because I feel like they double block to kill with these. Or... Hmm. Uh... Well, maybe I should have just pushed it and swung. That way they had to double block and we got everything. Alright. Before blocks. We don't want that monkey around. No monkeying around here. You have to block both of these opponent. So we get both our we keep both our shadows. Uh best rip for opponent is 
another EE, which they had main deck. <laughs> I mean, you know, honest to God, though, I think that's not horrible. Like, because think about it, like, like a lot of what you lose to is stuff that you don't interact with otherwise. You know what I mean? Like, you can't interact with Tarmogoyf, like, realistically, if once they, that six car type hits the graveyard, you're not killing it in Murktide. You're bouncing it at best, you're stalling it. So, I, I like the EE. I think that is good. Uh, I'm really intrigued by that as a Murktide player myself. Uh, I like Grist. I still like our combo. I don't think that does anything. I think Veil is interesting. I think Veil is interesting. Uh, I think Grave Hate is interesting because Murktide wins. Uh, Murktide beats us. So I think these are interesting. I don't know if we need... I don't think E is worth it. You know, like we just have that kind of on walk, so to speak. Uh, between our Abrupt Decays and Fatal Pushes, their they're, uh, DRCs, their monkeys, their shredders aren't living, and most of our stuff outsizes it anyway. We have Gris to clean up a Murktide. Uh, I like Gris down a little bit, but I, I think I will trim one. I'll trim a Street Wraith. I'll trim a Bobble. Cut air just always seems like the best thing. I have to assume they're going to attack our yard back, so I think I can cut a traverse because we're not super duper graveyard dependent. Like we can just play a, f I mean we play a fair game of magic. Uh, we're on the draw, so I kind of like cutting an Inquisition runner like that. Okay, so stubborn bobble. Hmm. Effective double green, but one of them dies to a bolt, so that. Um we don't really have a way to deal with a turn one monkey in hand. Unless we play Dryad Arbor and hope to god it lives. Opponent mold is six. Yeah, I think I can mulligan this. Uh, this hand is bad. We're on the draw, so I think I can take another mole. Okay, this is perfect. So, we put back a spell bomb, uh, keep. That goes back. <clears throat> if they have monkey, we're just sad. I think, how do we want to deal with Murktide? I think we can just put that back. Because we get to Thoughtseize. Alright, and if we draw a Fatal Push, you know, that works too. Alright. Monkey's coming in hot, unfortunately. Okay, another land, not what we're wanting. So they do get to hit us with the monkey. Past. Um. Overgrown tomb. Yep. Bobble targets them. Okay. Shadow. Opponent over there making choices. This isn't Murktide at all. This is weird Emory nonsense. Um, uh, I still think I take the expressive. We might be hosed because I thought this was Murktide. Okay, Street Wraith is a good one. It's going to guarantee that uh, they aren't killing this Death Shadow next turn. All right, what do you get, opponent? Yeah, they could cycle it. Urza Saga. We would have liked to have had Spreading Seas for that. Shadow Spear. 
E E would have been very good. Emery, come down. Do some nonsense, Emery. Okay, so we do get the battle. Um, might wind up losing the war, though. Uh, let's cast a bobble. We'll bobble target ourselves. Ooh, dress down. This battle's gonna be a hard fought one, but we're going down swinging. And now that we know what OP is up to over there, uh, I feel very good about our next turn. Okay, land. I don't know what. Uh, opponent is like I said. Opponent's over there, making choices. Oh God, I forgot they had that spell bomb. That's gonna hose us. They do that. They get in with monkey. We, like, literally never get another combat step because they just do that over and over again. All right. All right, well, let's see what they get. If they get something too good, we probably scoop. Okay, they don't. Uh, let's get this one tapped. Wow, the land train uh, keeps on a coming. Though this means the shadow does get to actually stick around for once, so that'll be cool. All right. And then on upkeep, like, uh, I think we're going to try and dress down them. Again, I wish I had known that, uh, what, op what opponent was doing over there. All right. All right, well, we gotta try it. Dress down. Yep, they get it. Really hating the card Ibery right now. <laughs> but, you know, that is the thing. <sighs> wow, Emery Value Town, huh? Which I had... I mean, if this is a transformative cyborg, congratulations, opponent. This is next level. So, they do only get to hit us down a little bit more. Uh, Mox Amber and Shadow Spear. Bobble. Uh, let's just go on to game three, everybody. This is miserable. <laughs> You know, that does happen, though. Uh, I could have sworn they were on Murktide. So, I think against them, this is a little too fair. Uh, I do like the dress downs here, actually. Yeah, other than that, I would keep it about the same. Like, I had thought about EE, -E, but we just have enough ways to deal with stuff. And if we extra police their yard, which we're going to have to. I mean, they could cyborg into straight up Murktide. I think we have a good Murktide matchup. Eh, if they do, you know, you've next leveled us, opponent. Congrats. You will have those. There's a non-zero number of them. Okay, we don't really... Uh... Yeah, we'll keep. We're on the draw. Or on the play. Opponents mulliganing. I'm hoping they mulligan to five and we just get a thought season out of the game. 
no such luck there, but mm, it was a nice thought. All right. All right, so we're going to fetch Overgrown Tomb. Yes, we will. And Thought Seize. Okay, so... E.E. E. Darcy... Uh, I'm going to take their threat. And we're probably going to play out... Uh, they're going to bobble. I hope we get something good off of this. That would be nice game. Oh, wow. I'm going, getting real bad bit right all of a sudden. Real bad. I, I hope I don't drop. That would suck. Okay. Opponent gets to draw a bunch of cards. Okay. So, Bobble. Tar. Out of hand. All right. Uh, well, we'll say go. And if they cast something blue, I think we might cycle, provided my internet connection doesn't drop. A teamer? Oh, this could be that teamer, uh, Tarmogoyf list. Okay. Well, they don't have... Hmm. Yeah. Breeding pool coming in. And we continue the flood. Like I said, hopefully they give us something that we can veil just to draw out a card at this point. All right. Um, hmm. This is the question, because we know they're going to play that EE -E out, but they're going to want to hold up mana to activate that. Um, huh. So if we do green, green, black, let's go ahead just because we could cycle it. We know we've got protection for the death shadow, so. I mean, we're going to try to. We're going to force them to have it. Veil. All right, our spell is uncounterable. Okay. Search library. I mean, I think we make them do it. So we... Yep. I mean, they can't activate it, so that's probably okay. I'm going to hold up the Street Wraith just to try and cycle it here in a second. Uh, I feel like we would have been better positioned if I had planned it out better at the start. Yeah, they get to do that on one. Okay, EE -E on one. Shocks in. Yeah, let's go ahead and draw. That's not what you were supposed to give us, game. Um, hmm. So they can do that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's just shock this one on in.
And uh, let's try and attack it, see if they want to pop it. They make a construct, we'll go green, black, decay it just to get that free advantage. Okay, and it pops up over here. We'll cast it. And we'll go green, blue, Tarmogoyf. Now we get a hold up Stubborn Denial. And uh, removal spell or dress. Uh, removal spell off the top will do it. They float. Uh, again, I think they have to bounce the Zalkama. Or whatever it is. So they do that. They can hold up. Uh, and we're, they, we're gonna get the combo this time because we've got the mana up to do it and protect it through a counter spell. I will say, this is a head scratcher for our opponent here. Or if, depending on what they present, we can just get Grist. Feel like you get real toolboxy with this. Okay, Murktide Regent is the get. So they have to choose whether they're going to... Okay, they decide to crack. All right. Well, no. Uh, I mean, if they've got a bolt, we're just dead no matter what, so. Put them to one and see what happens. All right, so we're going to go to one as well. All right. Does that win? Do you have the bolt opponent? Because if you do, you win. Yeah, I mean, like, we've done the best we can. They're digging. They're digging for it. I mean, we're probably dead, but... You know, it was a valiant effort. Like, like I said, it happens. I really like this deck, though. Oh, you uh, opponent. I can't believe you tried that. Uh, oh, opponent. Why? I hate that. Uh, I'm going to act like I'm going to bowl to see if I can't get the conceit out of you. I, well, I might be a little hasty to judge. Opponent could have just been... Opponent might not have been trying to angle shoot a concession out of us. I'll say it that way. But I'm going to make him have it. Like, when I play Death Shadow, like, if you don't show me the bolt... I'm not scooping to you. You know, like, uh... Kinda is what it is. So, we've cashed the league, which is fantastic. So we're gonna get a chest, and enough play points to jump back into another one. Which we might do, uh, just because I'm probably gonna be playing three days in a row to break it up, I might do, like, a bit more of a variety stream tomorrow. And do more magic on Wednesday. This, you know, where this is a bit of an abnormal week, but, you know, it is what it is. And this has been a great stream so far. I have really, really, really been vibing with this deck. Uh, and maybe it's just like the slow, chill, lo-fi music we got here. 
again, courtesy of The Walking Dog over on YouTube. I need to put a, a credit to them on this, but fantastic if you are into such things, if you are so inclined. But if I get enough back on this Car Kingdom order, like I'm able to finish creativity, I've got to buy this in paper now. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to spend money on the uh, whatchamacallits of uh, Ikoria, but invasion, whatever, whatever the heck it is. But my god, this deck is fun. Uh, this is what we signed up for, right? We're thought season, we're pushing, we're goifing. We're keeping. We're on the play. What more could you want, really? Uh, I think we get Overgrown Tomb, Thought Seize. Hope to God it's not Tron. I don't think we beat Tron game one at all. Overgrown Tomb. Blorp. Thoughts to be seized. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. I don't want them getting free value. Uh, and I want to try and keep them off being able to kill our goif as long as humanly possible. Uh, Jeskai Breach, or... Well, I guess it's more is it breach. Is it is the colors we know of? Because we got Tarn, uh. Opponent? Oh, poor opponent just realized what they've done. I mean, unfortunately, uh. Got to keep up the pressure here. Counter spell for opponent. That means we got to get this Tarmogoyf down underneath of it. I think we're going to get the breeding pool here. Because that lowers our life total and uh, represents more blue mana. Okay, so they have to turn it on. That's going to be a feet and a half right now. Okay, we get the thought sees. Like I said, I do hate that for our poor opponent over there. Okay, so two car types in yard. Push it. And, uh, put our opponent to not a lot. So they can double heat our goif. That will be lame. But it's going to cost them a lot. That's both removal spells gone out of their hand. Well, I didn't mean to click off that. I assume that they're going to do that. This is going to be rough. Like, they are kind of heavily incentivized to do just that. All right. Um, I think we make him blow it here. And then we get a thought seize. Yeah, they're going to have to. They have to do this or they're just dead. Because like, this Goyf is going to be crashing in for like a bunch. Now they've got Delirium. They use the second one. And in response, we're going to Thought Seize them. Emery down, so counter spell. Land Saga. Yep.
Uh, did we kill that just to get rid of it? Uh, I kind of value our Urza. Uh... Yeah, I think we do this just to have multiple things turned on here. Don't like that they have the counter spell in hand. You know, not a massive fan of that. All right, so... Yeah, I mean, we have a way to kill stuff. Okay, they're cycling it. That's fine. Poor... The opponent's playing very well, though, considering that happened to him first time, but... Okay. Let's keep thinning, get that overgrown tomb, get it tapped. Hmm. Well, pretty amazing our ability to draw lands, but hey. Blue, green, dress down. Okay, opponent might have a spell pierce. Uh, they might have a spell snare. If they do, they do. Okay. Okay, perfect. Shadow. So, they're very unlikely to do anything realistically with that. Yeah, they float a mana. That's fine. Through the breach, uh... Let's just get rid of that while they can't interact with us. Ugh. Yep. So they just win it off a bolt. Cool. Well, that happens. That's just guy through the breach for you. So. Again, I think the combo against them is just too fair. I think Dress Down is good. Uh, Veil of Summer for their counters is good. Grist, I think, is fine. Cut here. Cut here. I don't hate Inquisition in this matchup, but it doesn't hit a whole lot. Yeah, we're bringing in stuff. I do kind of like Force. Um, I think we can cut... Oh, wait, we still have another card slot, so we want both of these. So I think we cut a traverse. Maybe make another cut for the other traverse. What do we cut, though? Um, I like wrist against it. Spell bomb, spell bomb. Maybe we're just supposed to cut more Street Wraiths. Yeah, run it like that. And I uh, hope we stick this. Okay, this is fine. Uh, we've got card to pitch. Keep. We can start growing the... Upkeep. Shock that in. Uh, we need card types. In. Uh, actually, I'm fine. Because if they do something that presents us with the opportunity to force and just wreck their plans, I think we do it. Okay, Bobble. Uh, 
All right. It ain't tapped. Yes, we shall shock that in and say go. If they try to dash a monkey on us, we just rest down it. To draw a card, put a card type in yard for goif. Hopefully we draw something good. Land from opponent. Emery, uh... I would like them to get nothing for this Emery if I can help it. Because I want their yard as limited as possible. Okay, Fatal Push. Alright. Draw... Okay. They Bob will target us. Come on, fetch land. Um, it's a little annoying that they do get to do that. But I kind of want to get this in underneath everything. And as much as I don't want to commit a goif for a, uh... And, like, let's face it, we're also Street Wraith Fetch Land from just going Shadow Shadow. Okay, yeah, uh, opponent gets the bauble. They get to recast the bauble. Always annoying. But it does happen. That is kind of the thing with these artifact decks. We do have Fatal Push if they... If we find a fetch land, I'm gonna pit, nah, I'm gonna push Emery, Mox Amber. Why make one land drop when you can make two? I don't know. I'm starting to come around to the idea that maybe Mox and like as a concept just. I don't know. Like I think Mox Amber is okay though. Mox Amber is fine. Uh, is it annoying? Kinda. I'm hoping here that, uh, like I said, we draw fetch land. I mean, like, we can always drop shadow, like, so it dies. We get to kill Emery. Oh, no. Do they have it? Shock in. Well, we do have our... Okay. That's fine. Come on, green card. Okay, that triggers revolt, so that's fine. So we'll cast it. All right, let's see what OP is drawing, of course. Well, let's go ahead and just get rid of Emery while we can. Hmm, Moto being a little weird. Um. Yeah, Targo is a big threat that I don't think they can afford to just willy nilly forget about. Their bobble is turned off and they can't connect with Monkey at the gate. Uh, they might have another thing here, so let's draw. Come on, a green card. That's that's not a green card that we want, but it does let us cast it. And if we draw our combo, you know, we get that. Uh, that's a lot of pressure on our opponent. We hit them down to 13. Suddenly, they're looking down lethal. I'm not a fan of us not being able to cast this Force of Vigor. 
Force is a real good here. I don't know if we'll get to Fortnite tonight. Unfortunate that, but you know, it does happen. Like I said, with it being a holiday, I wanted to slightly lower key stream anyway. Watch this be another Emery. <coughs> no, it is the expressive. Sorry about the coffin there. The ability of our opponent's deck to just be all things is truly remarkable. They get to iteration. They're probably they can't kill this Tarmogoyf though. Though I'm Can they make two more mana? I don't think they can give Emery haste. So they do get to draw a million cards. All right. Yep. I kind of... Well, what would I be traversing for? Like another fetch land? Opponent drops to nine. Well, it's fetch shock in... Watery Grave. I'm an idiot. I did that all wrong. I just realized I'm one off, so... Away they go. Uh, we let them do the damage for us. Uh, they do get... They don't have a way to untap, so... But they can make infinite mana. All right. Watch them get lucky here. I mean, if they do, they do. Uh, not much can be done. Okay, good. Expressive. I'm kind of hoping they tap out here and we can just uh, force hardcast addition. Yeah, I think we hardcast the force. We blow up the treasure. We hit them again, see if they take it. And if they drop a... Oh, Lord, if they drop a uh, Urza Saga, we definitely... Okay, trigger on the stack. I mean, like, we're so far behind, but at the same time, like... I mean, like, if they've got it in hand, they just win. You know, like, we can't beat it. Uh, we gave it a valiant effort, I will say. Okay. Teferi. Raveler of Annoyance. Yeah, they get to Bobble. The value never stops. Opponent will draw almost up to their max hand size. Okay, but they are, unfortunately for them, currently shields down. So we're just going to get this overgrown tomb. Shock it in. So let's go shadow, shadow. All right, let's bluff something we don't have. Tarmogoyf. Though granted, uh, they could just have it in hand, unfortunately. Like if they go double at Holy Heat, bounce our Tarmogoyf, we're sorta out of it. You know, not much we can do. Uh, 
Gris looking like a live draw, though. And we have to remember, Teferi does stop our big Ikoria dinosaur, whatever it's called. Yep. Uh, Prismatic Indeed is now super alive for them. But we do have that inevitability. Uh, I mean, granted, like I said, they could just have it. You know, they're going to get to draw like a lot, a lot, a lot of cards. And if they're a combo deck, like they have drawn a million cards, they have combo. Yeah, concede. Well, that was an annoying way to go out, but yeah, that's it. I can never remember the name of that dinosaur. But you know what? These do happen. Uh, I think that's part of why Jeskai... I, th I think Jeskai threw the Breach is very good. Um, threw the Breach is obviously just a, an incredibly powerful card. And just Jeskai value town, like what we saw, I think that is... I think that's just good. But as we come to the end of it, I think what we need to do is open this and see what we get. All right, let's see if we get lucky tonight, everyone. Oh, no, not this time, I don't think. What do we get? Plague Wind and Hostile Negotiations. Womp womp. Ah, well, what does that even do? I feel like that's a cool commander card. I feel like if you play that in commander, it's super duper neat. Uh, I don't... And the fact is instant speed, like that probably is a fun commander card. Play, oh god. Uh, I bet that was great during its time in commander, but the power creep, power creep is real. Oh, well, that does end it for our league and for tonight, because I probably need to get some sleep. I am working from home tomorrow, so I don't have that commute, mercifully. But it was still a great time. We'll go ahead. We'll throw up the end screen. I hope everyone had a good one. I'm just going to go ahead and return my cards, kind of get my final thoughts on the deck. I really liked it. Um, I think... Uh, shocking revelation. I think good decks are good. And this is a good deck. Uh, I think you could do very well with it. Uh, there's not much surprise to me that this thing took down a challenge. Um, I do feel like it does kind of struggle. Like if everybody's on Jeskai through the breach. Or I don't even think it's th uh, not through the breach. Jeskai breach. Uh. I think that that is rough because Teferi shuts off your combo and bounces. Uh, and like that last game, we just didn't see our yard hate. Like we really needed to stick that while they were tapped out. Like if we could have gotten that just one off of it, uh, you know. Yeah, like if we had, honestly, I think we need a uh, for this matchup, because you're a traverse deck, I think what you want is maybe a creature that can blow up the yard. Just any green or black or blue. I, well, I don't think that would be a blue thing, really. That's kind of weird for their part of the color pie. But any black or blue or any black or green creature that just turns off the graveyard from your opponent. Preferably for free. Uh, maybe finding room for an endurance in the side is the way to go. Just because you can get it, uh, you have multiple ways of getting it. Uh, three drop slot is really just grist and things you get with uh, brain is going blank. Uh, things you get with invasion of Ikoria. So maybe that's it. Maybe like if you're going into a super duper, super duper uh, graveyard heavy meta, like we saw just guy breach, just guy breach living in. We took down two of those, you know, one of the breaches, 
which I thought was Merc Tide and boarded wrong, so we obviously lost the second game, but we got there at the end. Uh, we lost Utron uh, again. I had a plan. I don't know. Maybe I misclicked on Moto. Maybe I floated the wrong colors of mana. I think I should have floated. I mean, I don't know if it would have done it. I was playing to stub denial my own uh, fatal push to get it in the yard to close, to put us into game three, see if we couldn't squeak out a win. But, you know, is what it is. So, ultimately, though, I had a great time. And I hope you all did as well. Like I said, this was still a great deck. Uh, you know, you can sometimes like just wind up drown in value from your opponent. As we saw that last game, they just had way too much on us. But you know what? You will have these. And now we try and find someone with which to raid out on. Who is streaming tonight that we haven't raided in a while? Uh huh. Let us see. Sorry, this has kind of been taking a second here. Oh, there's so many. So, uh. You know what, let us, even though we raided them earlier in the week, well, yeah, we'll just raid back in. Uh, that villain Jay, it looks like he is playing some standard, which should be a lot more interesting with uh, the ban announcement today. Honestly, we kind of do agree with it. Uh, I think banning, uh, you know, it helps if I do the thing that you're supposed I mean, to do before a raid. Stuff, but the ward one isn't that hard to get to. You know, like, it does feel like though, uh, and I've heard this echoed from a lot of people, I kind of feel like it's gonna be Esper Legends, the meta now, like. For sellers, yeah. Oh, look, a man. Uh, and that just is what it is. <laughs> with standard. I do plan on getting into that at some point. I have wanted to get back into standard. Just to play more arena. To be quite honest with y'all. But uh, we'll go ahead. We'll wrap here. I do appreciate everyone for hanging out. And y'all have a good one. I will catch you tomorrow. This is not...